There has been plenty of ups and downs for the two Finns in 2018. One has had plenty of opportunities but a lot of bad luck, with the other one returning to the form that we are used to. But how exactly did Valtteri Bottas and Kimi Raikkonen get on in 2018? The only way to find out is in this video. But first off we are going to start with Valtteri Bottas, who in the first half of the season was looking very good. Maybe not in Australia where he had a massive crash in qualifying and then a terrible race, but the races after that were a lot better. For example, he came very close to winning the Bahrain Grand Prix. If only he was more aggressive when trying to pass Vettel into turn 1 on the final lap, and could and should have won the Chinese and Azerbaijan Grand Prix, but was just too unfortunate. But at the time he did not let that get him down, as when the European season came around he was still on it, after finishing second at the Spanish and Canadian Grand Prix. But then we came to the races in France and Austria. These were the races that destroyed Bottas's confidence for the rest of 2018. First off in France after qualifying on the front row of the grid, Sebastian Vettel took him out on the first corner of the first lap. And Bottas ended up finishing in seventh with a destroyed car. But then in Austria, he responded with pole position in qualifying. And even though he dropped down to second at the start of that Grand Prix, things were still looking good. But then 15 laps into the race, his gearbox failed, thus ending any hopes of a Drivers' World Championship for Valtteri Bottas in 2018. And his season from then on never really got any better. He would lead the British Grand Prix towards the end of that race, but got passed by Vettel at the end. And because he was on old tyres, he finished down in fourth. And then in the final two races before the summer break, he finished in P2 and P5 and was hoping to improve after the summer break. But barring a couple of races, he never really did. For example, at Monza, he spent the entire race behind Max Verstappen in P4 and only finished on the podium because Max Verstappen got a penalty for hitting Bottas. That was a poor Grand Prix. But then another blow to his confidence came at Russia. In similar fashion to Austria, he got pole position in qualifying and was leading for most of the Russian Grand Prix. But then halfway through the race, he let Lewis Hamilton through to win that race. And that definitely did have an effect on Valtteri's confidence. Even though I think the team order was correct, it was never going to help Bottas' mental state. And after finishing second at the next race in Japan, he finished fifth at the final four races where in all of those races he had bad tyre wear and no race pace at all, and ended the season very poorly. And these are the stats from Valtteri's mix 2018. He's had no race wins but two pole positions, with eight podiums and 247 points. He could have done better of course, but he did have some bad luck, which I will get onto very soon. But this season Valtteri did have some very good races, one for me was Canada where he qualified in second and finished in second and did it with an older version of the Mercedes power unit. If Mercedes brought the newer one, I think Bottas could have won that Grand Prix and did well with what he was given to finish in second. Another good race weekend for me was Russia. Now I know of course the whole team orders thing happened, but if you forget about that, his weekend was very, very good. He was just as quick as Lewis Hamilton, if not faster, and he got pole position and led most of that Grand Prix. And let's be honest guys, he was the real winner of the 2018 Russian Grand Prix. But for me his best race weekend was the Chinese Grand Prix. One because he outqualified Lewis Hamilton who is very good at that track. And then deservedly got into the lead of that race. But then was very unfortunate when the safety car came out. And thus ended up finishing in P2. And talking of his bad luck, let's just get into it now. Now for me, if the safety car did not come out in Shanghai, I think Bottas would have won. It would have been very close with Sebastian Vettel, but I think he just about would have won that Grand Prix. And then you have Baku, where with about three laps to go of that race, his tyre blew up when he was leading the race, costing him the full 25 points. This was his most unfortunate moment of 2018 and pretty much for him sums up the first half of his season. A lot of the time showing good pace but did not have the luck to go with that. Then again in France he was took out by Sebastian Vettel, 
I think Bottas had enough pace at that Grand Prix to get onto the podium. And then 15 laps into the race at Austria, his gearbox failed, costing him yet another podium. And again, was the real winner of the Russian Grand Prix, but of course, team orders had to happen. And still to this day, I do agree with those team orders. Because Lewis Hamilton at that point was not yet comfortable to win the championship. So I'm afraid for Bottas it had to happen. But this is the amount of points that Valtteri was cost through bad luck. In my opinion he lost out unfortunately on 69 points. If he was a bit luckier he definitely would have finished P3 in the Drivers Championship. Instead of only finishing down in P5. So you do have to remember that Bottas has had a lot of bad luck. But there has been races where he has just been plain awful. For example, the final four races at Cota, Mexico, Brazil and Abu Dhabi. Finishing fifth in all of those races. And was just so bad compared to his teammate and even the Ferrari drivers and Red Bull drivers. And that's the one thing that I think Bottas has to improve for 2019. He needs to stop having these slumps in the second half of the season. Because not only did it happen this season, but it happened in 2017. And he has to put a stop to this if he's going to stay at Mercedes for 2020. Because if he doesn't, then he will be out of that team and Ocon will be in his seat. I really do hope he improves this area. And to be quite frank, I hope he does well in 2019. Because I do think a lot of the criticism levelled at Valtteri is a bit unfair. And if he does have a bit more fortune than he had in 2018... Don't be surprised in 2019 if Bottas comes alive. But now let's go on to the Iceman Kimi Raikkonen, who for the first time in a while has had a very good season. And the signs that he was going to have a good season started immediately from the first Grand Prix, where in Australia he qualified in second and finished up in third, but really should have finished in P2 if he was not unlucky at that Grand Prix. But then at the next two races, kept on it by qualifying on the front row in Bahrain and Shanghai. But had more bad luck. As in Bahrain he had to retire because of a problem in the pit stop. And then got a bit unfortunate at the start of the race in China. But it was nice to see though that Kimi now had some pace back. And could have done a lot more at the race in Baku if he did not bottle qualifying. As he was about to get pole position and then basically bottled it at the final real corner on the track. But still in the race he finished in P2. So a positive first four races for Kimi. But at the start of the European season, Kimi's season went massively downhill. Where first in Spain and Monaco he did have some mediocre races. And then was absolutely terrible in Canada by qualifying P6 and finishing there as well in the race. And after qualifying at the French Grand Prix it seemed as though Kimi's season was just getting worse and worse. But then had a good Grand Prix by finishing in third. This is where Kimi's season completely turned around. As for the next four races, he finished on the podium. At Austria, Silverstone, Hockenheim and Hungary. Kimi was now back in some good form. But then after having quite an unlucky race at Spa, he had a great weekend at Ferrari's home race at Monza. First off by getting a stunning pole position. And also led most of the Grand Prix. But because Ferrari were damaging their rear tyres too much, Lewis Hamilton passed Kimi and won the race instead of Raikkonen. But Kimi did drive his heart out at that race. Then after that at Singapore, Russia and Suzuka followed some more mediocre races. The best he could do was finish in P4 at Sochi. But then came his best moment in a long, long time. He won his first race in five and a half years. Winning the 2018 United States Grand Prix just about from Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. And the F1 world rejoiced at Kimi's victory. As everyone is happy when Kimi Raikkonen wins a race. And then had a good end to his Ferrari career in Mexico and Brazil. As his second stint at the Scuderia came to a close. And these are the stats from what was a great season for Kimi. He had one race win and one pole position. With also 12 podiums and 251 points. And for me this was Kimi Raikkonen's best season since he won the title back in 2007. As he was consistently in the top 3 during 2018. And for me again this was a very good year. But what were Kimi's best moments of this season? One of them in my opinion is Brazil. Not only because he got the podium. 
but because also he outperformed Sebastian Vettel despite Vettel's issues. That performance really did impress me. Another one though has to be his race weekend in Italy. By doing a great job to get pole position and being so close to winning that Grand Prix. It was one of the best races he has had in years. But as I've said, the best moment has to be Kota. Winning his first race since 2013. He did so well to keep calm under pressure with Verstappen and Hamilton right behind him. But at the end of the day, that's why they call him the Iceman. And his overall weekend for me was pretty good. So the US Grand Prix is his best moment of 2018. But there wasn't really any standout bad races for him. I think Baku he could have done a lot better. Because he did blow pole position and he could have won the race if he did start on pole. I'd say probably his worst race was Canada. Not only because he was P6 in qualifying and the race. But because his teammate Sebastian Vettel was doing a lot better. As he got pole and won that race. So yeah, Canada is probably the worst race he had. But this does have to go down as a great season for Raikkonen. And I think a great way to go out at Ferrari. Because as it stands, he's the last man to get pole position and a race win for the team. And is of course their last Drivers' World Champion. Yes, Kimi could have done better at Ferrari. But for me, it still has been good. These two drivers though face a more challenging 2019. For Valtteri Bottas, he has to fight for his Mercedes contract. And Kimi Raikkonen is now dropping down to the midfield by going back to Sauber. Where his F1 career all started. So 2019 for these two is going to be tough. But hopefully in 2019, they both come away with some respectability. But anyway guys, that's has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I'll be back on Thursday with a season review for Red Bull. As well, don't forget to join our Discord server link below in the description, also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what did you think of Bottas and Raikkonen's 2018. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time, it's been me, Chazzer HD. goodbye.